to one or two questions following this angle bisector theorem idea. I'm going to do two questions here. So if you have not done the second one, do both of them and then go through the go through the video. The first one, in triangle ABC, A is the point at which the angle bisector of exterior angle CAD meets BC extended. E is the point at which. So E is the point at which angle bisector AE meets BC extended. And so this is the angle bisector or this angle should be equal to this angle. AB equal to 10, AC equal to 6, BC is equal to 12. Find the length of CE. This is what we need to find. So call this as X. We need to find what is X. An angle bisector, the moment you hear angle bisector, you should be thinking about angle bisector theorem. Angle bisector theorem, what does that give us? That gives us AB by AC equals BE by EC. The foot of the bisector divides the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. Or 10 by 6 equals BE is 12 plus X by EC. X. Got this? Just find X. Very simple. 10 by 6 is 5 by 3. Or 5X equals 36 plus 3x, 2x equals 36, x is 18 centimeters. A direct application of angle bisector theorem for the external angle. AB by AC equals BE by EC. That's it. Plug it in, then we are through. And very simple question. Remember, angle bisector theorem works for the internal angle and for the external angle. Let's go to the next question. We've just done this digitally where we have written down the same equation and solve this. I'm going to skip this part. Go to the next question. AD is the bisector of angle A, AB is equal to 10 centimeters, AC is 14, the area of triangle ABD, this area is 35 square centimeters, find area of triangle ACD. So good question, again we are being given angle bisector, so the moment we know angle bisector, we know angle bisector theorem, this is AB by AC equals BD by DC. So 10 by 14 equals BD by DC or BD by DC is 5 by 7. Hold on to this, BD by DC equal to 5 by 7. We know that. We still not got the answer. We will come to that. BD by DC is 5 by 7. This much we have obtained. So let's hang on to that. Build on this question. Now we know area of triangle ABD, this area is 35. Now this is half into BD into AE. Remember it is sum AE, not AD, AE. Half into base into height. Height is the perpendicular distance. Remember that. So half into BD into AE is 35. This AE, let's call it as height. Half into BD into H equals 35. Now what do we need to find? We need to find this. This area of triangle ADC, this half into CD into again the same H. We've already seen this before. Even if this were the base, the height remains this. Right? So area of triangle ABD is half into BD into height. Area of triangle ACD is half into CD into height. And very simple. This half into BD into height. This is half into CD into height. This is 35. What is this equal to? We have something linking BD and DC, we are through. Remember, we already know something linking BD and DC. We know AB by AC is BD by DC or BD by DC equals 5 by 7. So half into BD into H is 5, half into CD into height is what we need to find. CD equals 7 by 5 times BD. So the area will be 35 into 7 by 5. And we just simplified the next slide. At the same height. BD by DC is 5 by 7. So 35 by area of triangle ACD is 5 by 7. This, if it were 5x, this would be 7x. Half into 5x into height is 35. Half into 7x into height, this would be 49. The heights are same. So areas would be in the ratio of their bases. This ratio of the bases is 5 is to 7. Area of the area will also be 5 is to 7. So this is 35, this will be 49. Direct application of angle bisector theorem. The only extra thing we use is half into base into height is the area. Remember, whenever we have height, there is a perpendicular distance. 
remember that the perpendicular distance the height need not lie inside the triangle the key thing here is for triangle ABD and triangle ACD the height is the same once you know that you're walking through this question and height is from opposite vertex perpendicular distance that is the height 